microscope is an invaluable instrument in biological research. With it, researchers have identified the microorganisms that cause various diseases, such as syphilis, African sleeping sickness, anthrax, and tuberculosis. The microscope is a useful tool when you know how to use it effectively. In this video, we demonstrate how to set up a microscope and basic techniques for viewing a specimen. Before you get the microscope, clear the area on your lab bench where you want to place it. Select an area with an electrical outlet nearby. Remove the microscope from its storage location. If it has a dust cover, remove the cover and store it until you are done with your lab work. When you carry the microscope, hold the microscope arm with one hand and support the base with the other. Although it looks rugged, the microscope is a high precision instrument that can be damaged if not handled with care. Place the microscope on the bench and plug in the power cord. Turn on the light switch and adjust the rheostat until the light is bright but not blinding. Once this is set, you normally do not need to adjust it again. Adjust the iris diaphragm until light comes through the condenser lens. After you verify the light is working, place a prepared slide on the stage. Make sure the stage is set to its lowest position to access the slide holder easily. Hold the slide clip open with one hand, place the slide next to the guide frame with the other, then release the slide clip so it closes slowly. Move the specimen area of the slide over the condenser by looking directly at the slide as you move the stage with the XY knobs. The specimen is in viewing position when you see the light shining through it. If the specimen is stained, you may see the light change color. Now that setup is complete, let's examine a specimen. To find a specimen, verify that either the scanning objective or the low power objective is in position. Large multi-cell organisms, such as molds, can be seen easily, so start with the scanning objective. Small single-cell organisms, such as bacteria, cannot be seen with the scanning objective, so start with the low-power objective. Next, swivel the oculars to match the distance between your eyes, called the interpupillary distance. Then, adjust the oculars. Adjust the iris diaphragm so the image is bright, but at a comfortable level. Slowly turn the coarse focus knob to raise the mechanical stage until the slide specimens come into focus. When the organisms appear to be in focus, use the fine focus knob to sharpen the image. Now use the XY knobs to move the slide as you scan it for a specific organism. When you move the stage in one direction, the image moves in the opposite direction because it's inverted. Once you find an organism, increase the magnification to examine it more closely. Use the ribbed ring to rotate the nose piece to the next objective. Never use the objectives to turn the nose piece. They can be damaged and are very expensive to replace. Your microscope is parfocal, which means same focus. This feature helps to maintain image focus so that only minor adjustment is needed after you change objectives. When you adjust focus, use the coarse focus knob only when the scanning or low power objectives are in place. These two objectives are shorter and never come close to the slide. This prevents the slide from contacting the lenses during coarse focus adjustment. 
The high power and oil immersion objectives are longer and able to contact the slide. When either of these is in place, use the fine focus knob only. If you use the coarse focus knob, you risk striking the slide against the objective lens, which could damage both the slide and the lens. Also, adjust the iris diaphragm lever to maintain image brightness when you change magnification. You need more light at higher magnification and less light at lower magnification. The oil immersion objective provides the highest magnification at 1000x and mainly is used to examine extremely small specimens such as a single cell. To view a specimen with it, you must place immersion oil on the slide to see the image. To do this, rotate the nose piece so the high dry and oil immersion objectives are on either side of the slide. Remove the cap from the oil dropper, position the tip over the slide, and squeeze one drop of oil onto the specimen area. Then rotate the oil immersion objective over the slide. Sharpen the focus and you now have a 1000x image. Remember to use only the fine focus knob with this objective lens. When you finish viewing the slide, clean the oil off the lens. First, rotate the scanning objective into place, then drop the stage to its lowest position. Tear off a few sheets of lens tissue to clean the objective lens. Make an absorbent cushion by folding the pieces together into quarters. Gently but firmly, wipe the objective lens. Then inspect the tissue for oil residue. If you see any residue, refold the tissue or reposition it to expose a clean area. Then wipe the lens again. Repeat until no oily residue is visible, using new lens tissue as needed. When you are done viewing a prepared slide, clean the oil off of it with paper towels and water then return it to its storage case. When you are done viewing a heat fix slide, dispose of it properly in a glass disposal box. When you are finished with a microscope, store it properly. Verify that the scanning objective is in position. Move the stage to its lowest position and turn off the light switch. Unplug both ends of the power cord and wrap it onto the cord hangers. Carry the microscope back to the storage area using two hands as before. Cover it with a dust cover to protect the optics. Then place it in its storage location. You have seen the basics of how to use a microscope. Setting it up, adjusting the oculars, finding a specimen, changing magnification, and adjusting slide lighting. If you take time to practice these skills correctly, they soon will become second nature and will serve you well as you explore the world of microbes.